Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cranberry sauced martini. Now, this is a Christmas cocktail, and yes, it's the beginning of December. Having said this, it's also a challenge to you, the viewer, to join my Christmas Martini 2022 challenge. Now, this is put on every year by myself, Rob from Rob's Home Bar, and Vino from 60 Second Cocktails, as a challenge to all the viewers and all the other cocktail channels out there. And we like to do this for a lot of fun, just because it gets everybody in the spirit, and you know we have a great time with it. Anyways, I came up with this cocktail that's very much akin to a breakfast martini. So, it is a shaken glass, so grab your shaking glass. And the first thing you're going to use is the gin of your choice. Now I'm using Dylan's Dry Style 7 gin, and we need a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Next you need a little bit of lime juice, and we're going to use some fresh lime juice for that. So grab yourself a knife, move everything off to the side, and what we'll do is we will cut this in half and squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters into the glass. All right, this looks great so far. And it's a great base because this is an area where it becomes very similar to a breakfast martini. Now the breakfast martini itself uses orange marmalade. What I have here is cranberry sauce. And this is cranberry sauce that's just cranberry jelly without any berries in it. So what we'll do is we'll open the tin and scoop out two tablespoons of cranberry sauce. I got a little excited there. So after you're done cleaning up, because you don't want to leave a mess for anybody, you're going to use a little bit of Peychaud's bitters. You don't need a lot. We just need a total of two dashes. Now this is starting to look really, really festive. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some ice, but you have to shake this really thoroughly. So you're probably going to shake this for 15 to 20 seconds because you want to make sure that you get everything completely broken up so that it passes through your fine strainer really easily. So grab your lid, slap it down, and make sure to shake it with a smile. Now this is a perfect time to explain the rules of the contest. A, it needs to be served in a martini glass, it must be festive, and it must use the hashtag ChristmasMartini2022. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand cranberries because this is a cranberry sauced martini. Put that off to the side and grab your martini glass. So what we'll do is we will fine strain this to make sure that we get any chunks or ice chips out of it. Now you are going to find that this is a little bit thicker. So what you may need to do is grab your spoon and just kind of Mix it forward a bit just to make sure that you uh, open up some of the uh, the sips. And when you're done, throw that in like so. Look at that gorgeous dark red color. Put that off to the side. Now you're supposed to serve this as something festive. So here, there's a Christmas ball. Let's try it out. Well, it smells good. You get a little bit of cranberry and a little bit of gin. Mmm. It's really good. You taste the gin. The gin's not overpowering. It's not over sweet or over tart because of the cranberries. The lime juice it has it right there. And you get the slightest hint of the Peychaud bitters. Now, this is a little thicker of a style of cocktail, so it has a thicker mouthfeel. And you know what? If you like Christmas cocktails, take a look right here.